Hello, I'm Ian from Data Harvest. In this video, I'm going to be showing you dropping a magnet through a coil and connect it to our voltage and current sensor and onto the iPad. So we're going to take this little magnet, drop it through this Perspex tube. The coil is here, which has about 3000 turns. It's connected to the voltage sensor, which is then connected Bluetooth to the iPad. Before we start, I need to set the iPad up and set the software up because this is going to record very quickly. Before we start, I need to press on devices so I can connect the voltage and current sensor to the iPad. Once connected, I'm going to turn the current sensor off because in this experiment, I'm just interested in the voltage. Also, because we're going to go very quickly, I need to set this up using different parameters. So we want a continuous reading the interval we're going to go very very quickly so we're going to change that to 50 microseconds we're going to use a trigger so we're going to have when the voltage rises above 0.1 of a volt and we'll just save that we're going to have a bit of a pre-trigger so that the graph is in the middle of the screen 200 microseconds and we're going to get it to stop after we've had a small amount of time. I think 30 seconds might be a bit too long. So we'll go for 500 milliseconds. Okay, that's now set up and ready to roll. So all we need to do is press start, drop the magnet through the coil, and there we can see the data on the iPad, showing the induced EMF going from positive to negative, depending on the direction of the magnet. So, this is a quick and easy demonstration of showing a magnet through a coil using our Bluetooth voltage sensor connected to an iPad. If you would like any more information about this, please contact me, telephone our office, or check our website. Thank you for watching.